All right, guys. Uh, there's my second video for tonight. Um, gonna kind of fill you in on what's the next step on my videos. Uh, don't don't sit and wait for them because <laughs> I haven't had time to do a lot of videos. But I do have a whole bunch of ideas that I want to work on. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to turn out some videos so you guys can look at. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed. I just posted a video on how to be able to get the file so that you could 3D print this chassis. Uh, this is my original sumo crawler chassis and you guys can get it for free at Thingiverse. And um, also uh, I'm not doing anything with him right now. I just have him there for size comparison. Uh, you guys remember him. That's um, the rock bouncer that I made a while back. and. Um, this right here is what I'm going to talk to you about. <clears throat> These are the axles for uh, this little guy right here. The Orlando, whatever, 35 scale little um, RC rock crawler, la 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 la. I've had those for a long time. And they're the metal ones. They're really cool. And they're super tiny. I mean, like I said, this is a size comparison. They're extremely small. This, uh, oh, these are tires that came with the basher. If you guys have seen my other videos, that's a small crawler, and look at how big that those tires are in comparison. Anyways, this, these are the axles. I'm gonna be doing something there somewhere along the lines so of that. Um, I'm gonna try to build a tube chassis, kind of like this. Uh, this is Showtime. I know you guys have seen it. Uh, Mad Ram has a bunch of videos on it. It's an old version of it, but it looks freaking awesome. I think this is the best looking uh, rock bouncer they've ever made. But uh, I'm going to try to build something for this guy. Not the exact one. I'll look for another version. But something small that's going to fit him and look, you know, like that. In any case, uh, for me to be able to do that, I'm going to have to come up with a transmission because obviously I'm going to need more power or you know I'm going to have to make it smaller than what the original is and um, as you guys already know I've used all kind of motors on my sumo crawler and somehow I was able to fit them in this chassis what's the problem? this chassis is huge and this was tiny for my sumo crawler so I'm going to have to go smaller than what I was fitting on this so obviously I'm going to need smaller motors uh, these are some motors that I used to use on my Sumo before I went cordless and all that stuff. And uh, just to give you an idea on size, this is the size motor that comes with the Orlando. And it is tiny. I mean, super tiny. It's even smaller than the motor that comes with the Sumo Crawler originally. That is minuscule. Super duper tiny. And... Um, it doesn't have a lot of power, but in any case, I was able to come up with, with a way to design a transmission to where I can make it as small as possible so that I could fit it into this guy and actually make it work. Now this right here, if I'm able to open it, I don't know how, bam, there we go. This is a small transmission that I built. This is what was our dream when I used to work on my sumo crawler was to have an all metal transmission for that sumo crawler because the bottom gear used to strip all the time. Um, I managed to fix, kind of fix that problem when I put that big 26 tooth gear on the motor for my sumo crawler. But still, having a bottom gear that was plastic just wouldn't cut it. So I managed to find me a uh, gear that worked for this and I designed and 3D printed the, the case for it this fits just super snug in there but all the gears move you know no problem of course you know everything's moving in there uh, I have spots for the bearings and everything now you're gonna ask oh but where did you get these gears metal gears well I'll tell you bam right there and they're three dollars and ten cents you get everything you get the big piece uh, the center gear, uh, this is the one that goes to the pinion. This one you don't need. But, as you can tell, that's from the Orlando. Uh, so that's the upgrade to metal gears 
for the Orlando. So if you're gonna do this upgrade and go metal, then you go this upgrade and you go metal. But like I said, this is a much better design than what the Orlando has because you skip the metal gear, so you make it that much smaller. And as you guys already saw, this thing is super tiny. You know, that is way smaller than even what you will have on the sumo crawler and that transmission was really small as it was so I'm not closing it because it's you know it's such a tight fit that I'm not gonna be able to take it out with one hand and then the video is gonna look whack but anyways uh, it does close dang it now I want to close it boom there it's closed so for these transmission I made tiny little holes if you can see them there six little holes right there right there right there right there they're about I, I marked them to be one millimeter but once you print it with a little bit of printing that goes on the side and all that stuff it makes them to about half a millimeter but that's alright because um, you're gonna need really skinny uh, screws to go in there there's not a whole lot of room to play with because of the spots for the um, for the bearings and all that stuff so you know you'll use something really small like the little screws that you get from taking apart servos um, from the case of the servo you could put that in there and it'll hold it and um, that'll take care of that now if this is not enough for you guys because I know you guys you look at my videos you say what kind of engine is he gonna put in there a motor uh, how many motors can he fit in that little thing okay okay there we go boom let's put two now yeah, we're gonna put two motors into this little guy so going in with the same design I went ahead and multiplied it and this is a lot easier when you have two hands oh man come on but, okay tight fit okay then sorry I apologize for my shakiness come on okay so there you go you put them in fits nice and snug um, again gears are turning no problem there everything fits perfectly it has room for another motor in there and you go ahead you close it you got shaft coming out that way shaft coming out that way this is uh, ideally it's gonna go this way and uh, there you go you have a two motor transmission and as big as you might think it is it's really not that huge I mean like I said take into account this is a tiny little um, RC come on and that really doesn't look that big you know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to go with that one instead of the one motor one. And it'll fit just right. And you look it on the side, it doesn't look crazy. And uh, even when you fit it, you know, next to something like this, it's not that big. So, you know, that's one way to go. I'm also going to include the file to print this one on Thingiverse. You know what? Ah whatever and then I'm gonna include the file for this one now this one close to the same design went ahead and closed the back because the motor is not gonna come out the back uh, went ahead and made another piece to sandwich in between the motor and the gear here these are little geared motors that you can get on eBay now there is gonna be you know circumstances where you're gonna wanna go with this one and that's why I'm gonna include it as well uh, this little gearbox ah oh, come on I closed it without the gear what am I thinking okay so I'm gonna pull it out boom 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 sorry guys horrible at this I'm gonna say eventually one day one day I'll have somebody to edit these videos and make it sound right Okay, so we finally got that little gear. Alright, so little gear, boom. Doesn't fall, fits perfect, spins no problem. You know, I'm making sure that you guys see this because this um, was all printed 
with this a monoprice uh, select mini which obviously has got a few you know upgrades or whatever that I made but this is not like the most extreme printer out there it's not even close it's a two hundred dollar printer and um, it's able to print good enough that you're even the bearings and everything are gonna fit perfectly and you're not gonna have any problems there um, so whatever you use to print it it should turn out really good um, as you can see I haven't sanded down anything this is straight out of the printer just like that you know I went through a lot of trouble trying to make sure that the measurements worked out for you guys because um, you know I'm trying to give you guys something I don't want to give you no trouble so anyways now this uh, is gonna fit right here and there you go you got the shaft in the middle uh, left these open because I figured that'll help if you have to like you know lube it up you want to put some oil or something whatever and um, also I made it smaller because I didn't have to bring the case this way to cover them uh, so you have the shaft coming up the front you got a shaft coming up the back you got a piece right there for su uh, support so it doesn't come apart and now what's the beauty of this one well it's super short uh, any of these when you put the motor let me see where is it Boom. any of these when you have the motor in it you can tell it's a lot longer so a lot of guys when you're gonna be crawling and everything depending on how big you make your crawler and how long your links are and what kind of articulation you're getting that little motor might actually get in the way you know sticking out like that so this right here might be the option for you guys it's a little bit taller obviously but this little um, transmission is gonna fit two motors and it's gonna be extremely short and how short it is that? I don't even know, let me see uh, so about two centimeters 20 millimeters um, wide so this gearbox or transmission or whatever it's actually shorter than the lossy uh, transmission it also sits lower in the lossy transmission it's about a little bit wider but it's got two motors and uh, you know these motors come in all kinds of gear ratio so that's uh, that's gonna be very convenient for you guys and uh, you know I can fit this anywhere so this would be much better if you guys are gonna have a lot of articulation or stuff getting in the way or if you want to fit more electronics in your um, crawler so there's another option now these are gonna be a little bit of a problem because I haven't found anybody here in the US that sells these you know everything I find on these is you know like eBay from like China and stuff so you know that's what you're looking for mini DC 6 volt you know this one's 30 rpm you don't don't get that one that's way too slow go for uh, at least 150 200 or higher you know 400 being the highest if you're gonna be doing some crawling um, if you wanna go a little bit faster you can go up to like 1300 uh, RPMs and it'll still work out but uh, I think between 250 and 400 is good for crawling anyway that's where you'll find it um, oh, this is another little motor that you could put in there um, these motors are not as big, like I said, as the ones on the sumo crawler. But uh, that one is a tiny bit. It's about 5 millimeters longer. And it is the same size as this one. So that'll fit on this gearbox. So if you want to get an upgrade to this upgrade, then just get that motor. Don't order this one. This will not fit. This has a bigger gearbox here. This is the one on the sumo crawler. This is bigger. It looks the same, but it's not. This is actually bigger, and it will not fit any of these designs. I might make this design later for the, those gearboxes, but um, 
these in particular will not fit that motor or gearbox so don't don't get that one you know get either that one or that one and you know go with that but in any case that transmission uh, design is going on thingy burst tonight I like that one um, this one is going as well and this one which uh, this one being the smallest one I mean that's tiny even compared to this so that's the whole transmission so if you guys wanna you know build your own crawlers or whatever then these will help you guys a lot um, not that anything's wrong with the one that comes with the uh, Orlando but it's it's got an extra gear that you don't need in there you know an extra pinion um, and you know we like to change things around we don't just build things the way they are so anyways this is an extremely long video I'm sorry guys I just realized that I looked at the timer um, anyways I'm gonna post it I'll stop boring you and uh, I hope you guys can find any use for these transmissions uh, Oh, last thing. Sorry. Um, I didn't put any holes uh, to mount them. Just uh, you can use the six holes on them. I mean, eight holes on this one. They all have different hole patterns. You could use those holes to mount them, <coughs> or you can figure out other ways. Uh, I just didn't put holes because I don't know what kind of uh, setups you guys are gonna run. And uh, this is just a transmission. This is like a universal thing. Uh, figure out what you need it for. Figure out which one you need. Uh, post some videos, uh, link them to this video if you want, I don't care, we'll, we'll put them all together, let people see them, and uh, we'll see what you guys come up with, um, I apologize in advance if it takes me a long time to come up with any more videos, but like I said, you know, I'm super busy, and uh, I'm just looking forward to you guys posting some videos and seeing what you come up with, okay, alright, thanks.